Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome to the party. Uh, Adam here, and we're back with some vintage. Uh, so, originally, uh, I was going to see you all over on Twitch, but unfortunately, uh, Twitch and uh, Streamlabs have decided they're not friends today. Uh, I'm going to look into this a little more after. Um, we'll see what happens. But, in the meantime, I wanted to go ahead and play some vintage, and I thought that I would share that league with all of you. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead, <clears throat> we're just going to do this live. Uh, this is the exact same 75 for Esper Tinker that we've been playing up to this point. I will go ahead and flash the list on screen again for anyone who is not familiar with my content. Uh, so, we are Esper for Swords, Balance, Mentor, uh, all of the, the, the usual goodies. Why? My sideboard only has eight cards on it. Uh, oh, okay. For some reason my ley lines got moved main. This balance should be in the sideboard. Sorry, bear with me just a moment here. Uh, deck apparently had a total amount. Oh, this is from when I was sideboarding the other day. Uh, if you are into vintage or thinking about getting into vintage at all, uh, I did a video kind of with my thought processes on sideboarding uh, just the other day. You can find that here on the channel. But, uh, so this is R75, uh, we are white for Swords to Plowshares, Fragmentize, Balance, Prismatic Ending, Monastery Mentor, uh, Lavinia, Azorius Renegade, and the ability to actually cast our Sphinx of the Steel Wind with some amount of consistency. So that's us. Uh, again, the rest of this, this is a pretty standard uh, blue-black X Tinker shell. Uh, we're just looking to tinker into a Bolus of Citadel or a Sphinx of the Steel Wind. We have some Force of Wills, some Restricted Cards. We're here to have a good time. So, without any further ado, we're just going to kick this right off now, and uh, see how we do. I appreciate people joining today, especially given the, the strange change in format. We don't normally, uh, not normally live here on YouTube. We'll see how that goes. But, we are going to be here for today. So, let's see if we can get queued into an opponent here. Also, if anybody at any point in time notices anything goofy, uh, please let me know. Uh, because uh, in setting up, through all of the errors today, uh, I have had to muck around with my settings a bit. So, faults. Okay. Let's go ahead and. Hey, that looks like it's working now. Maybe. Unclear. We won the die roll. That's great. Uh, huh. I mean, this one's interesting. We have Force, we have Misstep, we have Time Vaults. This is weird and a little greedy, but I think I'm keeping it. I'm just going to try to jam this Time Vault. Mox, City. Uh, pitched a walk, I guess? Listen, my hand is all restricted cards. I don't know what to do. Uh, 
If my opponent just slams a card on me, I'm going to be upset. I don't think I want Fluster Storms. The Citadel's probably fine. Yeah. I like this well enough. Misstep probably is terrible. Probably. I'm gonna cut Mental Misstep. It's like Hercules Recall or Balance. I think I like balance. Keep. Mox. Misty. Go. Pro Mox, sure. A Fury? I mean, yeah. Mox Pearl, sure. Lotus, sure. Moon. Fable, okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be unfortunate. That was the reason to force crypt. Karn, sure. Well, I guess we have that covered at least. Not that I expect opponent to be playing that, but... Cued into Blood Moon, round one, yikes. Okay. That's gonna get us somewhere, I guess. Not quickly, but it's gonna get us somewhere. 
This Lelia is gonna dumpster us in the meantime. <clears throat> Reflection of Kiki Jiki. Yep. Mountain we don't get, care about at all. Three, four. Okay. Shattering spree. Ring, ring, key. Died a, died a Blood Moon Stompy on turn one. That seems, or uh, in round one, that seems seems about right. Oh. All right. Well, let's hope that round two isn't us immediately queuing into turn one Blood Moon again. I think that's about the worst possible matchup. Just jam Blood Moons over and over and over again. In our We Have One Basic Land deck. Maybe that's something we need. Maybe our sideboard needs basic planes. <clears throat> basic Swamp is not something that I'm even remotely interested in, but Basic Planes definitely is. Basic Planes is huge. Yeah, could probably squeeze one in. Gotta figure out where, but I could probably squeeze one in. It's the first time I've consciously thought about it, but... Maybe this is the, the time where we go ahead, we cut the Force of Negation main that I've been pretty upset about. And then that Force of Negation becomes the Opposition Agent in the sideboard, and the op sideboard Opposition Agent becomes Basic Planes. Okay. Wow. This... This hand is supremely busted. Other than we can't do anything. Uh, yeah. Keep... Bottoming... I don't know. Island? Bottoming island, I guess? Windswept Heat, okay. Hello, Yogmoss Will. Mox. Crypt. Saga. Okay. Uh, 
brainstorm. Lose our first flip. Let's go. Pro view. Preordain. I want to find a black source. Okay. Okay, that makes some sense. It's like a kind of a weird call, but like, I guess. <clears throat> I think opponent is Jeskai. opponent is in fact just guy okay it's like this is the only card in our hand that really matters oh opponent is banned okay yikes oh gross I'm going to jam this on Oko. That was wrong. Nice wasteland. I don't have any lands in play. Walk resolves. That sucks. Yeah, this Tarmogoyf's gonna be bad. Get blocked for five. What a joke. Ending, balance, plow, plow. Uh, cut force of negation. Cut vamp, mystical. Probably citadel. Opponent can probably answer this. I don't think I want a yog will here to be honest. So, like, I'm tempted to cut Citadel because opponents probably ban to Archon. Which means that this card is less good. Um, but I don't know that. The second opposition agent is mildly appealing. I think we're just going to run this. It's gonna be Tundra Crypt Tundra Crypt Jet. Actually, 
Tundra Lotus Crypt Jet Pine Vault Go. I can very easily beat uh, Force of Vigor here. Wasteland Mox. Mox. Let's go one or crit flip key. Mox is not key. Lost another flip. <clears throat> okay. This is atrocious. I'm willing to take six here because the primary reason here being if opponent has uh, collect roof, we're in serious trouble since we're drawing to key. Of course, now this fetch line is off. Sick. Sweet, sweet. I mean, maybe. Black, black, black. One, two, three. Citadel. On one. Yikes. What an awful start. Gross indeed. Gross indeed. Uh, we, we were drawn to a bunch of live outs. That wasn't any of them. Also, Brandon, welcome. Appreciate you joining. It's a little different today than usual. I went to fire up the stream and all of a sudden Streamlabs decided it didn't want to play nice with Twitch. Uh, so today we're here on YouTube to, uh, to see what that's about. So if people are into this, like maybe we can do this more often. I wouldn't be opposed to, uh, to streaming on YouTube every once in a while. Or, I mean, all the time. Whatever people are about, we can make stuff happen. <clears throat> 
So yeah, we, we lost to Vintage Moon Stompy in round one, and then lost to Bant Archon. Uh, I think that we can beat Bant Archon most of the time. I think that that hand just unfortunately shaped up pretty rough. Um, we lost, like, a pretty high number of crit flips. Uh, more than I think is statistically likely. Um, yeah, because I think that in that match, out of, like, five or six crit flips, we only won, like, one of them. So, something about odds being 50-50 or whatever. And then our Moon Stompy opponent had turn one Moon both games. Uh, game two, it was turn one dash Ragavan attack. We plowed it, and then in response, like afterwards, they mooned us. After they saw we had fetched non-basic. Uh, yeah. This is fine. Eye of Ugin, Eldrazi Mimic. Sure. What is going on in Vintage right now, everybody? Holy wow. I see. There's our pitch card. Probably misstep, honestly. I think misstep is probably worse. Mm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I'm sure that only means good things for us. <clears throat> Pro view. Pay life. Dismember, Time Vault, Smasher, Karn. All of this is so bad. I guess they don't currently have it. I do have to be cognizant of the sphere. I'm gonna play Lotus, Crack Lotus for blue, Narset. Down. Yuck. I guess the adbots are everywhere, right? Uh cool. Uh we're gonna take <laughs> yuck. I guess we're gonna take Vamp here? Play this. Play key. Wasteland, sure that sucks. You should have just played Smasher. Coming at Narset, that seems correct. Underground Sea. Go grab. Where's my time vault? There's my time vault. Sphere is gone. Next turn opponent loses the game? Next turn opponent loses the game. Unless they draw a second wasteland. Sure, Mox is fine. So I know all four cards, none of them matter. Smasher. I'm going to take 10 here, then take infinite turns. <clears throat> yeah, this is, this is all fine. I don't care. Oh. Nope. 
Cast my Mox. Cast this. Cool. Infinite turns with a threat. Let's go. Uh, once again, we're interested in ending, balance, plow, plow, fragmentize. Getting rid of flusters. Uh, beyond that, um, thinking. Force of negation, not amazing. It's not terrible, but not amazing. Ours is pretty, pretty trash. We can cut Yogwill, cut Narset, get two Hercules. And we gotta cut one more. Oh, misstep. Misstep's terrible. How in the world did we queue into. Uh, this is awful. This is so bad. One of the Tinker targets is in hand. We have one mana. No cantrip. We have top. This is a non-basic land. Against our opponent's 4x wasteland deck. 4x wasteland plus strip mine deck. If they built their deck correctly. What an unfortunate ride. Okay. Um. <clears throat> interesting. I'm gonna keep. We're in a bottom second saga. Ivugan, Mimic, sure. Mox. Mox. Sphere? Oh, Ballista. That I don't care about at all. What does this button do? Fire this off for time lock? That seems like it's gotta be wrong. I'm just gonna play Saga. Play Key. Pass. Wasteland. Get wastelanded. Yup. These are all things we kind of expected. Underground Sea Pass. Yo, can we stop this? Mystical for... mystical for time walk it's not good now but it will be could also mystical for ancestral mystical for ancestral probably better saga sure yuck that's a lot of damage, friends. Mox, sure. Tundra. Time walk. Okay. Discard the op agent. No. I can't discard op agent. That sucks. We gotta discard Herx. No, I can't do both.
Are we just dead here? Yuck. I think we're just dead. There's just no combination of things that does what we need to do. This is where we should have taken Ancestral. Hmm. Or if we mystical for balance. Hurts you. Okay. Opponent didn't shoot. We might actually not actually be dead. I mean, if we're not dead, opponent has grossly misplayed this game. But... Yeah, this should just be Mox, Mox, Ballista, one kill you. Yup. Yeah. Okay. Oh, gross. Okay. Like, this card is probably bad. I don't know that what, I, what I want over it, but this card is probably bad. Just, like, thinking out loud. This isn't unreasonable. It's going to be hard for them to pay for some of their stuff. I'm just going to run this. I think if we can jam... Like a, a tinker on one or something. Uh, yes. Keep. Island. Ancestral me. Got it. Pearl? Ancient Tomb. This all seems fine. Mimic's in. Time Vault's fine. I need a man. Need a mox. That's not it. Okay. Hum. Fifteen. Name wasteland. Say go. Hmm. 
box, sure. Take another Tundra. Get my Time Vaults. Play my Time Vaults. I have just run into some of the wildest leagues recently. <clears throat> that was Moon Stompy, Bant Archon, Eldrazi. <clears throat> That's our league so far. Moon Stompy, Bant Archon, Eldrazi. What a weird ride. Okay. <clears throat> well, hopefully we got our two losses out of the way early and we're just going to win our way out. All right. Again, I appreciate everybody hanging out. It's uh, always a great time <clears throat> to be here with you all. Apologies if the energy is a little different day, a uh, little different today. I uh, had some stuff going on in my personal life yesterday that's pretty rough, still weighing on me pretty heavy. Hence why I'm streaming at 6 p.m. and not at work. Um, <clears throat> yeah, not not in the greatest spot mentally, but we'll be okay. It's gonna take some time. All right. Yes. Keep. Okay. Point of Mulls to six. I'm just going to Ancestral me now. This is not usually correct, and I could get punished for this, but... Okay, opponent's on Doomsday. Mox. Mox. Go... We have a shielded beat. That's always good. I'm gonna vamp here now. I'm just gonna vamp for Lavinia. Jam this Lavinia.
Flooded Strand. Preordain's fine. Preordain. I'm cool with a vamp. I think with Lavinia Flusterstorm, I'm in pretty good shape. Bold of you, opponent. Well, we've pretty well dismantled what opponent's doing, so that's cool. Scroll for dig. One, two, three, four, five, six, blue. Dig through time. Please counter this. Please, I'm sorry, please attempt to counter this. Opponent, I promise you're not doing anything meaningful at this stage of the game. Not, not at the present moment. It's just going to hang out for now. This poor Doomsday player. showed up here to have some nice clean degenerate fun and we're just like nah Walk. I'll just keep casting spells, it's fine.
Narset. Down. Take Preordain. Preordain is just pitch card for force. That's how that works, yes. Dark Ritual. Prefer you didn't. Unfortunate. One does have to be careful with this necro. Two. Three. Four. Activate Narsa. I don't think opponent was planning on drawing any more cards, but now it's 100% certain they're not drawing any more cards. Doomsday matchup. Opposition aid that seems dope. End, I guess. I want this like one plow. We're not, we're not playing a Sphinx matchup. I think that's basically it. I guess I can take the Fragmentize if I can find room for it. Hmm. Because Fragmentize will deal with the Necro. Which, if opponent is smart, they're keeping in. I don't mind this rag, this plow, because they are likely on some number of shieldred. Got mystical specifically. That hand's like really close, but I don't think I can keep something like that against Dooms. Wow. If 
There's a conversation to keep that saga and pitch the second C. I probably should have done that instead. My plan is to play the C turn one and ponder looking for a white source. Mm-hmm. We're getting Doomsday down one. Duress, sure. Plow, okay. Sedgemore Witch, okay. That explains things. Ponder. I see. So much of this is very good. It's scroll, brainstorm, time vault, no, mana crypt, play time vault, cry because I didn't keep that Urza saga when I should have. Brainstorm, yep. Okay. Opponent knows about everything but this top. Preordain, sure. Sure. Nope. Tails. Sweet. Brainstorm. Jam my mentor. Merchant scroll for ancestral, ancestral me. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's also a good one, not gonna lie to you.
So the reason to fluster here is to get more monks out of the exchange. I will gladly trade these two monks for Sedgemore Witch. That's awful. <clears throat> Opponent Ancestral in there is about the worst thing that could happen for us. We'll eat a token. Lost our flip. Mox. our set. <clears throat> Opponent is fetching. Mind break trap. Back with these two three threes. I mean, I'm killing the switch. I think opponent's hoping I die to my crypt, which is totally possible here. Your opponent's hoping I died in my crypt or they have walk. They don't have walk. We did lose the flip. Okay. <clears throat> I think I do want this balance and I probably want it more than plow. 
just to clean up the, the kind of circumstance we just saw. If I am able to beat Sedgemore Witch on top of everything, that seems like a good plan for me. And balance is a very good way to do that. Again, such a strange league. Play first. Well, there's a misstep. I'm gonna keep. Mock Sapphire, Scalding Tarn. Preordain I'm willing to let happen. That's not good enough to miss up. I'll let opponent's sleight of hand too. That's not anything that I give too too much of a worry about. Okay. Fragmentize. That's not what this was here for, but I think it's actually helpful. I'm just gonna go ahead and fetch now. Again, I'm not willing to to take the small cantrips. The sleight of hands and the preordains I don't think matter. Tarn shirt. Get my time vault. Street Wraith. Fetch. Dark Ritual? Missed that. Okay. I will not pay for Fluster. Doomstick. Oh, Demonic Tutor. Sure. Tutor feels very, very beatable here. So I think that our 
<clears throat> I think our line here is to jam this Narset. It's still like kind of up in the air. We could also just get this Narset Duress away. Seems like a questionable thing to do. Yeah, okay. Lotus? Lotus would be sick. I also just like that. Play this Academy and pass. Mm-hmm. Preordain's fine. I'm queuing up to Time Vault. What do you have? Nothing. Cool, I like that. Alright. <clears throat> so, the game plan there is if I won't did anything, we could force. Um, and then we just start making constructs. And then Vault Key. We Vault Key with two constructs in play, we probably just win the game. Hmm. I mean, like, I'm going to keep it, but I'm not happy about it. This would be... This is almost a mulligan already, but it, I think that this is better than just a raw six. We have a force effect if opponent is doing something we can't handle. Sure. Yikes. I'm just going to force that, not think about it. Draw Mox. Oh, baby, let's go. Play a fetch land. Here's my opposition agent. There's my time vault. Sudden edict, you say. Okay, this feels good for us. Turns out hitting that Black Lotus was genius. Okay, and we win the game. 
Tutor. Grab manifold key. Cast manifold key. Okay, so Viseju was the thing that we didn't have covered. Got it, got it, got it. Sure. One, two, black, black black we need one more land and we can make this work i mean sure Also, again, weird league is weird. Okay, Tarmogoyf is fine. Two, three, four, five. Blue, blue, one. Okay. Mox Ancestral. Okay, so we switched to Plowshares, the Tarmogoyf, we have a Force of Will for if anything opponent does anything real scary. This feels like we're in good shape. Taiga. I mean, that qualifies. You can gain some life. One, two, three, four, five, six. Citadel? Okay. Okay, I have this Urza Saga. This is how we're winning this game. <laughs> B. 
basic Minskin bow. Sure. Brainstorm. Vampiric Tutor. Or Time Walk. Ponder. Player land for turn. Time walk. Get Sensei's top. Kill Minskin Boo, flip top. Okay, the opponent was just wanting to concede. DG, hello, welcome, thank you for joining. My name is Adam, and while normally you would find me on Twitch, uh, Streamlabs and Twitch weren't friends today. So I'm try checking out something a little different. Okay. I think that Flusterstorm is of pretty minimal value. Uh, Citadel is still fine, but not incredible. I wouldn't hate squeezing this other op agent in, but I don't think I need it. This is probably just fine. Um, this is pretty bad. This land doesn't make mana. <coughs> bottom vamp, bottom dig, done. I have this force of negation to beat a hot start from opponent. Cavern of Souls, that I don't care about. Are we naming Lurgoyf? Oof. Yeah, that seems correct. <coughs> Big yikes. I'm going to play the ruby out for the sake of Talarian Academy. Name Wasteland. I just stone cold lose if opponent wastelands me. That's Windswept Heath, sure. Bayou, Outland Liberator. This is unfortunate.
Find our blue source. That tracks. We're gonna play it, but I'm not happy about it. Oh, this thing is gonna murder us. We're in bad shape, but that's pretty much tradition when you mow like this. Sure, that's fine. Second collector roof, yuck. The reason to keep playing these things is the same reason that we played them previously. We want to we want to be able to beat Tolarian Academy, or we want to be able to use Tolarian Academy if we draw it. It would be one of the best things we could draw here. Yeah, that's what I expected. Two, five, seven, yuck, go to six. Like, I need to draw exactly Tolarian Academy, like, right now. That ain't it. We are dead. Alright, let's not immediately mull to, like, five. That would be great. Again, I appreciate everyone who's joined today. Uh, things are a little, a little different, a little weird, but I am grateful that people have chosen to hang out all the same. Okay. Keep. This is bait. If opponent has a turn one wasteland, I would rather them wasteland underground sea than tundra. Tundra needs to cast this balance. Bayou, Ruby, sure. Shepherd, fine. Goodbye, Shepard. Cinder Vines. Okay. We can beat that card. A brainstorm that's fine okay put this back put this balance back for now tundra ancestral me I don't care about this cinder vines. We're gonna beat this over the long game by a lot. That's not how we wanted that to happen, but okay. Uh, sure. Mm -hmm. That's very good for us.
play this. Play this Lavinia. If opponent's red blasting a Lavinia, then it's something they actually care about. And I'm willing to fight about this. We're at five of the eight requisite mana. That's so good for us. We'll draw Tundra and play it. It's another step closer towards casting the Sphinx, which is going to be very, very good for us. Guys, Trindle. Okay, we can beat a Tarmogoyf. I'm just going to yield to this. Top. Play Saga. <clears throat> Pass with all of the mana in the world for everything. One, two, three, four, five, six... Yo, what if we didn't do that, though? Opponent doesn't currently have red mana up either, which is huge. I'm gonna get rid of this goyf now their ability to answer it is basically zero their ability to stop me right now is basically zero and now their cradle doesn't tap for mana another time of collector oof we can beat a collector oof i'm okay with this I have more plows in my deck. I have balance. Balance is not a thing I particularly want to be casting right this second, but we will if we have to. Opponent also now does not have red mana, which is huge. I 
opponent trying to decide if they're casting another spell right here. I don't think I would if I were opponent. Like, they're not in a position where they really need to. This is a Grist, and it's getting countered. <laughs> okay. Triple green. This is Outland Liberator. Null. Everything for blue. Everything for white. Go away. Again, all of this towards the, the end goal of Tolarian Academy. <clears throat> Academy lets us cast Sphinx here. It's because we're playing all these dumb artifacts out. Armagoyf, okay. Balance? Force of will, okay. And so we die, uh, because opponent got to resolve a collector roof at a pretty opportune time for them. Yuck. Yep, nothing we can do about that. We just die. <laughs> cool. Well, okay, uh, that is a th two and three. Uh, it's pretty unfortunate, but uh, such is the life sometimes. Um, however, as is tradition on this channel, we win chests, we open chests, so let's go ahead and open this and see how lucky we are. Because we sure weren't lucky that league. Uh, Loxodon Warhammer, I see. Uh, we're, we're still on the not very lucky train. Alright, that is it for me for this evening, everybody. I appreciate you all coming out and joining me here on YouTube, uh, given that uh, Twitch was misbehaving. Uh, I will be back tomorrow for the Route TCG Saturday Beta Testers Tournament. Uh, so I'll be here about 4.45 Eastern Time. In the meantime, everyone have a great night. Hope you all have a good weekend. Cheers.